What's up guys, it's Coach Reed Hall here. I'm absolutely gassed. I just finished my volleyball workout, which I'm gonna give you complete access to in a few moments. So when I was 22, I was jumping around 45 inches. Now that I'm 33, haven't been playing beach volleyball for a few years, coming off of COVID-19, well, I didn't have COVID-19, but not being able to train the way I would because of COVID-19, I'm now only jumping about 38 to 40 inches. I'm determined to gain those inches back. Now, I wanna give you today's full workout that I'm doing, so I'm kind of in the phase one or trying to get started again, and I want you to see the process, how I evolved from where I am now to back to a 45-inch vertical. Now, there's gonna be five pillars that I focus on. One, building the foundation. Initially, I'm gonna build a lot of strength and structural tolerance in my joints so that when I play more volleyball or I get in my explosive work, I don't risk getting injured and have a much higher threshold to improve. Longevity. I wanna focus my training in the long term so I can play beach volleyball when I'm 70 years old. So in the back of my mind, I need to know that there's a long-term goal and that's to play when I'm really old. Three is I need to get stronger. So when you're jumping 45 inches, you're very strong, you're able to produce a lot of power. Right now I'm much weaker, so I need to get stronger. By getting stronger, it'll help me produce more power, which will help get my vertical back up there. Athletic movements. It's really important that I start reintroducing athletic movements into my training, like low intensity plyometric exercise, you know, some jumping things, some med ball things, med ball throws, that type of thing, without getting too crazy with it yet. The most important thing is choosing high value exercise. What high value exercise are, are exercise that produce a lot of results, but have the lowest risk of you getting injured. Anyways, guys, smash that subscribe button below. I produce a ton of volleyball content. Let's get into this workout, enjoy it. I'm gonna give you access to my full day one workout here. So the first exercise I did was barbell hip thrust, and I paired this exercise that you're seeing here with different shoulder health exercise. With barbell hip thrust, this is a high value exercise. It's one of the exercises that produce a lot of results, and studies have shown it's one of the top vertical gaining exercise that you can perform. It's also a low risk exercise. It's not as high risk to get hurt as some of those other major complex lifts. So when I'm doing this, I'm really focusing on just really squeezing my glutes and holding for the second at the top, uh, I'm not lifting as heavy as I maybe normally would just because I'm getting back in the flow of training. Now I'm going to give you my shoulder health exercise. These next few shoulder health exercise, I choose one of these to do in between my barbell hip thrust sets. So now this is a thoracic rotation. So basically I pin a foam roller between my knee and a wall so I can't rotate through my hip. And I'm just trying to get rotation through my mid back. Now coaching all day or playing volleyball or sitting, any of those things really seem to lock up the mid back. And we need to have good thoracic rotation as a volleyball player so this would be my first it's not necessarily a shoulder health exercise but you know a back health and overall movement quality the next shoulder health i guess well an actual shoulder health exercise i'm be focusing on are t's and y's so i'm doing this t i'm just allowing my shoulder blades to come away from each other and i squeeze them bring them together and i'm going to pause there for three to five seconds so i'm just focusing on really good movement of the shoulder blades when i'm done my t's i then go into a y okay i'm holding on to light weights here but the same idea when i lift I hold in that position so this exercise isn't about going heavy it's about getting good movement through with the shoulder blades and the last shoulder health exercise I was going to perform is W's now this is a great external rotator or rotator cuff exercise it builds a lot of dynamic stability to the shoulder now this is a great exercise for helping keep that shoulder strong for the long term so now I would do four sets of barbell hip thrust so each barbell hip thrust set I rest and in between those rest periods, I do a shoulder health exercise. Now, this is the first exercise in our second block. So now this is a lunge, iso hold, press. Okay, so this is a great exercise where I'm building strength in my quads and glutes, but I'm not having movement. So it creates another high value exercise. Me adding that press adds a lot more core instability. So it brings my core. And obviously, it turns into an upper body exercise as well. Okay, so I do anywhere between eight to 10 reps here. Just like with the barbell hip thrust, I'll perform four sets. Now, I've always told you guys I wanna play volleyball till I'm old. Now, this is an ankle health exercise. Listen, your ankles and your feet are extremely important as a volleyball athlete to be strong. So in this exercise, I'm in that lunge iso holds. Not only am I getting good activation in my glutes and my quads, it also strengthens my soleus, which is part of the calf muscle group. So the gastroc and soleus. This exercise will not only help improve the mobility of my ankle, but also strength and stability. So this next block is a bunch of, it's a sled complex. So I do reverse sled drags. Now this is one of the best knee health exercise. It's a great way of strengthening your quads and the inside of your quad, the inner muscle group, your VMO, with once again, little risk of getting hurt. So I would do anywhere between, well, that day, 
This specific workout, I did four sets of 20 yards, and then I did four sets of sled push, which you can see I'm doing here. And that wrapped up my whole workout. So it wasn't a lot of exercise. For me, once again, I chose a lot of exercise on low risk, but help produce a ton of results. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate you tuning into my day one workout. Things are only gonna progress from here. I'm gonna be showing some of the other videos of my workouts in the future so you can see how my training evolves. But guys, I got a gift for you. Check this out. full speed and agility program designed on how to become a faster, more fluid moving volleyball defender. Now there's four videos that are comprehensive and a full PDF of the written out reps, sets, and all of that. And it's completely for free. You can get it. There's no strings attached, none of that stuff. To access this program, all you need to do is click the link. It might be over here or down below. I don't know, you just gotta find that link and you get access to that full program. Anyways guys, I always appreciate you tuning in. I'm gonna be coming out with more content soon. If you wanna see all the upcoming videos, make sure to click that subscribe button below so you can see all the future videos if you've never met me before what's up i'm coach reed i work seven days a week working with youth volleyball players all the way up to the best volleyball players in the world my goal behind my content that i'm creating is to help educate more volleyball players and coaches so they can learn how to safely and effectively jump higher hit harder and have better overall movement patterns through proper strength training power development and learning how to develop those motor patterns so that you can optimize your movements. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you next time. Stay safe and have a great day.